So, you want to mod Star Wars Battlefront 2. Perhaps you found out about modding from every other Battlefront YouTuber and you wanted to try it out, but had no idea where to start. Well, this is where you start. This guide is to show you that it can be fast and easy to do. This has been put to the test by me many times and I've had direct help from the creator of the mod manager. Without further ado, let's get started. You will only need a couple of things. One, a Nexus mod account. It's free and it's how you get the mods. Two, Frosty Mod Manager, 3. Frosty Fix, 4. Mod Limit Remover, all the links are in the description below. First, we'll get Frosty Mod Manager, we are in version 1.0.6 beta 5. If you're in a version past this, this guide should still work. Just download the new Frosty and it'll work just fine. Once we download Frosty Mod Manager, we'll also get Frosty Fix. <clears throat> Click on Releases and scroll down. Once you do that, click on frostyfix.dxc. If you are really skeptical, you can go through the source code and check it yourself. However, hundreds of thousands of people use these programs, so I'd say it's safe. Once you click on frostyfix.exe and download it, we then go back to Nexus. On Nexus, this is where we get our mods. Once uh, it's simple and it's easy. All you have to do is click on any mod that you want. So we're going to pick Battle Damage Fader. And we're going to click on Manual Dan Download. Manual Download. And we're going to click on Slow Download. Because we aren't giving Nexus any money. There's an extra file that you may need. If you're planning on modding a lot or adding a lot of mods, you need to get Mod Limit Remover. The way I found to get this is go to one of the audio overhaul mods made by Ares Angel and click on download, an additional window will pop up with a warning saying that it requires more files. Click on Mod Limit Remover, and a new tab shall open up. Just click Save, and you'll be good. Once you download that, then you're done with there. You can go to <coughs> Downloads, Unpack Frosty Mod Manager, and run it. You're going to want to click scan for games and once battlefront 2 opens or shows up click on new i already have it there so i just click select and a new window will open up it should be empty but since i've done this before it's not what you're going to do click on add mods you're going to go to downloads find the mod that you picked i already have them all in there select the one that you want and it'll show up here Double click on it and it'll add it to the applied mods. Once you have the mods that you want, go to uh, back to downloads and launch up Frosty Fix. What you're going to want to do is click on global and make sure they have Battlefront 2 selected as your game. Enable mods globally. Wait for it to go through. All right, looks like it's good. Minimize and then click on launch. Oh, there we go, got impatient, sorry. So it's currently launching up Epic Games and Origin, so it can launch the game. Now that Epic has showed up, we go to library. As you can see, Battlefront 2 is running, so we just wait for it to show up. <coughs> so once Battlefront launches up, one of two things will happen. Either it will boot to menu and it'll have all your mods and it'll work just fine. Great, you're done. If not, if it boots to menu and none of your mods have shown up, what you have to do is, <clears throat> so for me, I got it working already, but you're going to quit the game, going to close out of Epic, close out of Origin, <clears throat> and then make sure these are exited. You're going to go into your launcher, open it up. Once it goes through, just go to library and launch Battlefront 2.
and just like that your mods will work now there are a couple of issues that can happen if the game boots to the menu in a weird buggy way and doesn't load properly that means that a mod is from a too old version and is messing it up if the game won't load and your mods uh, the game won't load your mods and is vanilla, you have too many mods enabled at a time and you need to run the mod limit remover before launching. You only need it launched, you can minimize it once it does launch, just have it open and running and it should fix it. If you want a way to troubleshoot, there's a list of directions in the description. If you're having a problem and are just unable to figure it out, go to the Frosty Mod Manager Discord link in the description and ask there. Make sure to do it in troubleshooting and follow the format. It's nicely honored. And with that, that's how you mod Star Wars Battlefront in 2022. Have a good day.